Hi, if you're new here, my name is Yelena and I live in Russia. On my YouTube channel, I show different places in my country that are not so well known to foreigners. I also explore the culture and traditions of the peoples who live there. I love sharing my adventures with the world because I want people to see that despite all the differences, in essence, we all are very much alike. Recently I went camping to the Russian Republic of Bashkortostan in the Ural Mountains. In my last video I told you about this region and today I'll show you what to expect when you go hiking in Russia and what off-road 4x4 adventure here can look like. Are you ready? Let's go! We are going to one of the most picturesque places in Bashkortostan, the Kuperla waterfall. Let me know if you've managed to pronounce this correctly. Anyway, unfortunately or maybe luckily, it's not so easy to get there. You have to drive on dirt roads through big fields and valleys, but to be honest, it's a lot of fun. So we're still in the middle of a forest and we bumped into a tree and now Dima has to take it somewhere. Well, luckily it's a small tree. Утка? Где? Вон. We have just crossed this river right here and now our car got stuck. So we will have to take a shovel and dig. The road doesn't look so good because it was raining yesterday. We somehow need to cross this part of the road and go uphill. And hopefully after that the road will become better. But I don't know. Hmm. But the river here is pretty. Yeah, we're still unable to release our car from this dirt and here in this part of the forest there is no reception and we are alone in the middle of nowhere. I hope we will get out of this. We can hear another car coming down and it should be a truck because uh, at the entrance they said that some truck went to the waterfall as well, so maybe they will help us to get out of this hole. Let's hope. Все, поехал. Операция по спасению нас. Вы можете знать, что делать? Машину на остров перегнать. Здесь остается вам пять с половиной километров шагать. И пешочком, не спеша, с песнями. Про песни я не шучу. Только рывком. Трос. А здесь медведей много? А вы видели, да, медведь? Да. Сонок выскочил, говорит. Потом песни начали орать. Мы здесь стоим, а слышим оттуда, орут песни идут. Подходит, мы что? Да медвежонка видели, вот песни орет. Такой, говорит, красивый. Я говорю, хорошо, что он к вам не подошел. Мамка выскочила, вам показала медвежонок, блин. So we've been walking for around 30 minutes and the road is really bad. I'm all covered in dirt. Yeah, so this is not pretty Instagram content. But soon, I hope, we'll reach the waterfall and there are a lot of mosquitoes here. And also, there are signs that bears live in this forest. 
and we were advised to sing songs on the way so that they could scare the bears away. We found some footprints, probably it's a moose, but we're not experts. I don't know. The fall is coming. Yay, we made it here. Feel it. At the very top of the mountain, there is an amazing view of the river and a wide, dense forest. Tourists are forbidden to go to the territory of the forest, and perhaps this is one of the few places where not a single person can get. If people want to stay inside the park for the night, they need to get a special permit to set up a tent. So pretty! Now we will just go and find the waterfall. The rock bridge that frames the waterfall in its most picturesque place was formed by the river in ancient times, when its levels reached 10 meters. Locals believe that this is a real masterpiece of nature, a waterfall with three cascades and a bridge over its streams. Close your eyes, hear the voice within. Calling. Today for lunch and having these things, they're like pretzels, but round ones, and that's all that we are gonna eat for a very long time. Well, I'm personally, because I haven't brought a lot of food with me today. But I hope it will be enough to keep me going, because we will need to walk six more kilometers back, and then drive again. So, wish me luck! Breathe in, breathe out, hey, Boots. Well, luckily they have rubber boots, so I'm not afraid of walking on those roads, but still. We made it to the river and our car is right there. And we haven't met any bears yet. It was very dirty everywhere and a lot of mosquitoes and they're still eating me, but it was worth it. on a huge swing and it's early morning and I feel so much better because we slept a lot it was like nine hours of sleep finally <laughs> yesterday we came back from that um, hiking trip and it was 11 o'clock and we didn't even eat because we were so exhausted and we went straight to bed and now it's morning I just had my coffee and I will go to the Russian banya, sauna. It will feel so good to finally get off all this dirt from that hiking trip. This is what this banya looks like. Okay, let's go to the banya. So apparently it should look like this inside. Let's see. Yeah, it looks right. So here is a table where you can drink or eat something. Yeah, and this is the sauna part. Oh, that feels so good. So what do you think of this place? Would you ever like to visit it and have a similar type of adventure there? Let me know in the comments. Thank you so much for being here with me today. Next time I will show you even more remote places that we visited during this trip to the Ural Mountains. So I hope to see you soon again. Have a great day. Bye!